Hi, I'm Philip with Real Python, and I'm so excited that you're joining me today on this very special course. In this Real Python exercise course, you'll practice building modules and packages. Our exercises courses are all about training. You'll train the process of writing code by solving carefully selected exercises. You'll also train reading over other people's code and communicating your thought process. Doing all that, you'll practice the concepts that you've learned about in an associated course or tutorial and help make them stick. In the upcoming lessons, I'll introduce you to tasks, give you an opportunity to solve them yourself, and then show you step-by-step -step how I solved each of them. You'll go through three steps for each task. You'll learn about the exercise, code your own solution, and then you'll compare your solution with mine. When I walk you through a task, I'll explain what I do and also why I do it like that. That will give you a chance to compare not just our final solution, but also how we got there. And this is how the course is structured. You'll start with solving some review exercises in the first section and then slowly build up towards a proper challenge. Before starting this course, you should have watched the Python Basics course on modules and packages. If you went through that course, then you're well equipped to solve the tasks that I'll throw at you. The concepts that you'll practice are creating your own modules, using modules in another file via the import statement, and organizing several modules into a package. If you're somewhat familiar with these concepts and you want to fortify your knowledge with practical programming tasks, then this course is exactly right for you. Before you get started, there's another tiny bit of background for this course, which is that I'll use IDLE, the integrated development and learning environment that comes bundled with Python. If you've gone through the Python Basics courses, then you're already familiar with the tool. If not, then you can check out these associated courses that cover getting started with IDLE. If you're just here to train and you're familiar with other code editors, then feel free to use whatever tool you like to solve the upcoming coding tasks. And that's all there is to say to get you set up. If you're ready to get started and do some hands-on programming, then see you in the next lesson. And there, I'll introduce you to the first exercise to get you warmed up. Let's get started with the first exercise. In this lesson, I will read the exercise to you. And then you should stop this video course, do the exercise yourself, and then continue with the next lesson where I show you the solution. This exercise is build a greeter module. Create a module called greeter.py that contains a single function, greet. This function should accept a single string parameter named name and print a text hello and then the name to the interactive window with name replaced by the function argument. So for example, hello Bartosz or hello Tappan. Okay, now you can stop this video course, work on the solution, and once you're ready, Continue with the next lesson, where I show you how I solve this exercise. Let's tackle this exercise bit by bit. The first part was create a module called greeter.py. That means we need a file named greeter.py. I will save it on my desktop. And that's basically the first part of the exercise, because with this greeter.py file, we have a greeter module. But the greeter module alone is a bit boring, and this exercise also asked for a greet function. That should accept a single string parameter. Named name. and then print the text hello name. So there are curly braces in there. We'll come to this in a moment. At this point, I just write the comments down to remember what I need to do so that you have a helpful note with the code. In general, it's a good idea to remove the comments after you created it, but while you're coding, it's a good reminder for yourself what you want to do or what you need to do, and in this case, what the exercise wants us to do. Let's start with the first one, create a greet function. To create a function, you use the dev keyword and then 
the function identifier with parentheses, colon, and then we add a pass into the function body for now because we will tackle the other comments in a moment. Let's save that and see if we can run the greet function without an error in the interactive window. On the left side, you can see my Python interactive window. And when I type greet, I get a traceback of name greet is not defined. In idle, that happens if you're just saving your file, but you're not rerunning the module. So let's do that just to make sure I saved. And then I go to run, run module. Then you can see a restart message. And if I run greet now, then nothing happens, which in this case is a good sign because you also don't get a name error. That means you've defined the greet function. So that means we can remove that comment, create a greet function because we did this. And now let's tackle the comment that this greet function should accept a single string parameter named name. To define a parameter for a function, you add it inside of the parentheses. So in this case, it's greet and then an opening parentheses, name and then the closing parentheses. When I save the function now and run it again, If I try to run the greet function without any arguments, again, I will get an error. This time it's a type error, greet missing one required positional argument named name. So that's good. So that means it accepts a single string parameter named name. If we call this function with a string, for example, tappen, and then run the greet function, then there is no error again. Perfect. So that means it accepts a single string parameter named name. But it doesn't print the text hello and then the name just yet. So let's tackle this next. Remove the pass that was in the function body so far. The pass keyword just says like, do nothing, more or less. So we want to do something and that's printing the text hello and then the name that was passed in. You call the print function inside the read function. So make sure that this part in the function body is indented. And then you create an F string. So F quote and then hello, comma, and now come the curly braces with the variable name in it. So that way you format a string with the name variable and whatever you pass in as a variable value for name will get printed out. Let's put an exclamation mark at the end. Let's check it out how that works. We save and run the module. And if we now call greet with a string, for example, Bartosz, then the output is hello Bartosz. And that's all that we needed to do in this exercise. I will remove the comment from line four so that there is only the function greet in the greeter.py file. Let's continue with the next exercise, adding a main module. Create a module called main.py that imports greet from greeter.py and calls the function with the string real Python as an argument. So again, you can stop this video course for now and come back once you have your solution and then you will see how I solve this exercise. For this exercise, you should create a module called main.py that imports greet. The first thing, again, is to save the file and name it main.py. So that's our main module. Here now is an important bit because you need to import greet from greeter. That means you must save main.py next to greeter. There would be ways to save it somewhere else, but in this case, it's the most straightforward way to just save it next to greeter because that way you can import it without any big adjustments. And I sh will show you how. Again, the file name is main.py and you save it next to greeter. I will add the file name on top. And now, just like last time, I will add comments of the 
things that you need to do. So create a module named main.py with it is, and now it should import greet from greeter.py. Now, the interesting thing is if you're just listening to this, that Python is very close to the English language. So we almost have the solution in this comment already, but let's continue with the comments for now. The next part is call the function with the argument real Python as a string. Let's start with import greet from greeter.py. There are multiple ways how you can import modules and their names. And if you need a refresher, you can visit the Python Basics course on modules and packages. For this exercise, it's a good idea to import the module as a whole. So the import statement is import greeter. Let's save the file and run it to see if there are any errors. There are no errors, so that means main.py is okay so far. We have imported greeter, and that means we also have imported a greet function. To access it, we need to write the module greeter dot the function name. Remember that greet takes one argument, which is name. So if we run this right now, we'll get an error. And for this moment, it's okay to get an error because that way we also see that we are actually accessing the greet function. So let's save it and run it. Just like expected, we get a type error. Greet is missing one required positional argument, which is name. That is the last part of this exercise. Call the function with the argument real Python. That means we have solved the import greet from greeter. Now, maybe at this point you spot something interesting because I didn't solve the exercise exactly like it was requested. The request was to import greet from the greeter module, but I actually imported the greeter module and not the greet function. In the end, the solution still works, but you might have come up with a different one and maybe yours is even more correct to the exercise request than mine. And now you need to call the function with the argument real Python. So let's copy that real Python string from the comment and paste it as an argument in greeter.greet inside the parentheses, save it and run it. And as you can see on the left side in the interactive panel, it says, hello, real Python. Perfect. So that means the greet function is called with the real Python string. You solve the exercise. You can remove the comment and save the file.